Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. We've got a non-Star Wars review up here today as we take a look at Elsa Schneider from the Indiana Jones Adventure Series line. Let's get to it. So Elsa here is part of the last wave of the Adventure Series line from The Last Crusade. And to be honest, Last Crusade might be my favorite Indiana Jones movie, which I know is blasphemy, but there's a lot of nostalgia as we had this DVD copy growing up and it always got brought along on road trips. And so I've always loved Last Crusade. I've always loved this character as kind of this foil and mirror for Indy. And I think this latest figure that we got from this line is just another testament to how really good a job Hasbro did on this line. Elsa has a ton of detail that is completely unique to her, brand new sculpt from start to finish, and she features all of those improvements that we've seen in a lot of our recent Hasbro action figure releases with solid articulation, a turn towards those single jointed elbows and knees, and you can see she's got these, you know, big kind of roughly sleeves, and quite a few extra details that make it so she's not just like a Marion Ravenwood copy, you know, with like a different head sculpt or something like that, uh, but very much a unique character and a unique figure. And while Elsa herself isn't as much involved in the action in Last Crusade, the figure does have the ability to strike those poses if you're looking to do, you know, either some kind of more desert action photography or something along those lines. And she does come with some pretty great alternate accessories to get some additional looks in there. Uh, so obviously the fake grail is a great package in there. Uh, definitely fits the scene and looks good if you've got some of the other characters from this Wave 3. And I love the extra detail that's put in here as you've got, you know, some little metal embellishments and stuff like that. I think what sets Elsa apart here as a really solid figure is the alternate head sculpts that she comes with. As you have the more frazzled look from the end of the movie that you've seen on the video thus far, uh, but you also have more of her, you know, desert look with the tanker hat, uh, as well as a pair of goggles that come with her. And I think Hasbro did a solid job on the likeness here, and I'm a big fan of these goggles as you can display them either around her neck or they fit over the top of the hat or her eyes as well. And so there's a couple of different options to display. And we don't always, I think, get that variability with Hasbro products. We've seen it a little bit more in the G.I. Joe line. Uh, but I do like the ability to play around and move those around to get different looks. So all in all, I'm really bummed this Adventure Series line has pretty much come to an end. Uh, you know, they could only do so many releases. Indiana Jones seems to kind of come and go like this in action figure form about every 10 years. Uh, but I think Hasbro, for this kind of more limited line, did a very fine job with things. I was very impressed, collected quite a few of them. And I hope that they can maintain this continued standard along, you know, more of their ongoing lines. Obviously, the Black Series, the Vintage Collection. Collection, you know, Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe, as I think we're seeing more and more examples of really solid figures come along. We just want to make sure that, you know, that average is being maintained as we're simultaneously seeing a lot of good lines fall by the wayside, a lot more repacks and re-releases. So fingers crossed we get much more like Elsa here in the future. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you agree with these sentiments or if you have any alternate thoughts as I would certainly love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for your support and please make sure to check out some of the other videos up on the channel as we have other reviews from the Indiana Jones Adventure Series line as well as many other Hasbro products.